think we're all starting to realize Nvidia Ampere is going to be pretty amazing and according to this leak upcoming GeForce RTX 3060 possibly beating the 2080 Ti a $1200 graphics card now although we cannot be 100% sure obviously when it comes to leak like this we should all take it with a grain of salt and this leak could very much be just fake but if you have been following Ampere for a while leaks are pointing to the fact that the upcoming RTX 3060 will be neck and neck with the 2080 Ti in terms of performance and in today's video guys I'm going to show you why I think this fall is going to be the biggest graphics card launch in history let's look at everything you need to know about Nvidia Ampere and the future of gaming coming up hey what is up guys my name is Robin welcome to Orbin Hardware I am your Swedish host with bad posture and poor accent so the last few days have been pretty crazy in the graphics card world with numerous leaks of Nvidia's upcoming Ampere based GeForce RTX 3080 blowing us away but I want to focus on the RTX 3060 for a moment a graphics card that possibly could be priced similar to a base 2060 or a 2060 super in other words a 300 to 400 dollar graphics card possibly beating a 1200 dollar graphics card now I think it's important to take all leaks with a grain of salt and before anything is official nothing is set in stone but the thing is when we're typically getting closer to a tech product launch regardless if it's a graphics card a CPU or you know an upcoming console historically as we're getting closer to the product being launched or revealed leaks tend to get more accurate and I'm sure you would agree on this as well now the thing with Ampere is that although there's been one or perhaps two or even three leaks that have gone against each other most leaks have been pointing in the same direction the two biggest upgrade from current RTX cards and upcoming Ampere seems to be the following number one a shrink of the GPU die this will lower the energy consumption and this will make the graphics card more energy efficient this will also result in more transistors on a smaller area which in return result in a massive increase in performance and with Ampere most leaks suggest Nvidia is uh, going from 12 down to 7 nanometer and we are expecting roughly 40 to 50 percent increase while cutting the power in half with a possible 10 to 20 percent IPC increase now the second biggest change here can you guess it that's right, ray tracing. Nvidia is doubling down on ray tracing with RT cores on all RTX 3000 cards. And we're looking at up to four times more ray tracing performance stand against current RTX cards. I've been following Nvidia Ampere for over a year now. I am pretty confident about a few things. Nvidia doubling down on ray tracing with the RTX 3000 family is pretty much more or less confirmed at this point. And we will see a lot more ray tracing and tensor cores. The Nvidia is going all in on RTX this time. All GPUs are getting ray tracing cores on some level. Regarding the upcoming GeForce RTX 3060, if we take a look at the leaked specs for this GPU, we can quickly see that this GPU is getting far fewer CUDA cores if we compare it with a 2060 Ti. But something to have in mind is that Ampere will most likely be 7 nanometer and Turing is 12. And because Nvidia is moving to a more advanced manufacturing process we will naturally gain performance and because of the lower power consumption Nvidia can then also bump up the clock speed and according to most leaks nearly 2 gigahertz core clock speed which is pretty insane knowing that Turing is clocked around 15 to 1600 megahertz according to a great youtuber by the name of Morris Law is dead which have gotten some very interesting information from the inside we should expect a solid 10 to 20 percent IPC increase increase over Turing and about 95 rasterization performance for the RTX 3060 stand against the 2080 Ti and perhaps even more ray tracing performance on the 3060 than what we can squeeze out of the RTX 2080 Ti much thanks to this new architecture and great number of RT cores for these new cards. Now in case you're curious about this video made by Morse Law is Dead you can find that video linked up down below. So we are essentially 
actually looking at a 400 to perhaps maybe $500 graphics card beating a $1200 card. Keep in mind here, Nvidia typically charges far less than $500 for a mid-range GeForce RTX 2060 or any GX 104 variant or any other GPU of this size. And with the competition from AMD and Big Navi, I honestly find it hard to believe Nvidia would charge more than $500 for this graphics card. Guys, I would be very interested to hear your take on this as well. Anyway, if the leaks specs are true, we are expecting up to 2000 at 560 CUDA cores based on the Ampere GPU. We're looking at up to 80 RT cores and up to 320 Tensor cores and the GPU boost clock speed up to 2 GHz. The memory will also be faster, but the only thing that bugs me here is the possible release date, at least according to this leak. The 3060 could launch in Q1 in 2021, which is unfortunately still a while away. Now regarding the manufacturing process, according to most leaks, Nvidia is using 7 nanometer from TSMC for the top performing GPUs and using Samsung 8 nanometer for the rest of the lineup. And the reason for this is because AMD actually bought most of TSMC's 7 nanometer capacity, leaving Nvidia with no choice but to go with Samsung in order to be able to guarantee enough numbers of GPUs. And if you haven't been following AMD lately, they're actually doubling down on 7 nanometer as well, with both Ryzen and Big Navi set to launch around the same time frame as Ampere. And in case you're curious, you can learn more about Big Navi in the video linked up down below. Another big upgrade Nvidia is looking to introduce with Ampere is DLSS 3.0, which is supposed to be a huge upgrade from current DLSS 2.0. Again, according to Moore's Law is dead. And again, if you're interested to watch this video in full length, you can find that video linked up down below. Now I touched on pricing very briefly, but let's go a bit deeper and I want you guys to help me out here. So let's speculate for a second. How much can Nvidia ask for the RTX 3060? Now historically, if we take a look at the mid-range GeForce RTX cards in the past, the 960 sold for 199, while the 1060 sold for 250 to 300 US dollars. But the thing is, those cards did not support ray tracing. And that's a good point. So if we take a look at the base 2060, this card had a large MSRP of $350. So Nvidia asking $600 for this GPU sounds a bit crazy to me. And I don't think that would happen. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Something to take into consideration here is the fact that Nvidia has been able to, up until this point, offer something that nobody else have been able to match. It was first to introduce ray tracing to the masses, and they have been able to stay exclusive for almost two years now. And if you don't remember, RTX was actually unveiled in 2018. Now this exclusivity have allowed them to set their own prices and dictate the market a bit if you like, because there hasn't been any competition. And no that AMD is planning to drop a Navi in Q3 in around the same time frame as Ampere, we know that there's going to be competition here. If you don't know, these graphics cards are also coming with ray tracing. So in other words, the era of RTX being exclusive is soon about to end. Now, while I cannot promise you guys anything, I have a very strong feeling the upcoming RTX cards will be a much better deal for us gamers than what RTX has been up until this point. If that means lower prices on the whole RTX 3000 lineup or a bigger performance delta stand against the older RTX 2000s remains to be seen, but I think there's going to be a ton of reasons to be excited for what Nvidia and AMD got in plan for us this fall. In the meantime, watch either of these two videos and I will see you guys in the next one.